limit our programs to at least uh, at least one hour. Hi everybody. We are the his, his history club at Clearwater High School. Um, I'm the president, Randy Hitz, and this is Jeffrey. I'm the vice president of our history club. And What's your name? Jeffrey White. Yeah. Can you hear us okay or do we need the microphone? Okay. Speak microphone up. or no Speak microphone? Yeah, you Speak up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, I'm Alexander Chadbourne. I'm the secretary. Okay. Um, <coughs> mainly our president. Can you still hear me okay? You bet. Can you keep your voice up? Microphone, you got one? Okay. <laughs> So basically what our presentation is going to be today is about our history club and what we would like to do to expand it. Uh, just like you guys were explaining earlier, uh, COVID has really put a damper on our club and I would really like to be more involved in the community along with my other members. Um, so if you don't mind, I am gonna pull up, I am gonna pull up my presentation real quick. Uh, so that way I can keep my head on straight. <laughs> And while I'm doing this, I do want to say that it is a great honor that you guys are able to hear us right now. Um, we really appreciate it. So basically what we, we have been doing for the past four years is um, the only thing that our history club has been doing for the past four years is something called National History Day. And that's where we all make different types of presentations for a competition. And each year it has a different theme. Unfortunately, because of conflictions with beta, we couldn't, we weren't able to do that this year. So that's usually what we do. So we really are trying to branch out and um, and serve our community more and make sure more people know about the historical society and everything like that. Okay. So, yeah, so about us, we are a club that has deep appreciation towards history. We work on projects that delve into history and, and those projects at our regional history fair, which happens every year-ish. And sometimes we do get to state, but most of the time since COVID, everything's been damped. It just hasn't <coughs> been there, hasn't been up part. Um, this year we are introducing more field trips. So we do have in progress and planned for us a trip to the arch and hopefully we will be, we will be able to do more um, field trips such as um, such as going to various museums and historical sites. And I do want to mention that our treasurer is currently not here with us right now. Um, he's Trevor Miller. That's about it, but I just wanted to go over our officers again. So I'm the president, he's the vice president, and he is okay. secretary. I see it right there, Alex. <laughs> I know that you're secretary. And the, the main other thing we also do is register all the 18 year olds for voting mm -hmm. as well, because we really want that participation, especially politically. Um, <coughs> yeah. yeah, so our main goals for this year is to basically have more activities, have more things that we can pass on to our underclassmen because we're just here for a year and we're not gonna really have that much this senior year because really COVID, COVID has really messed around some things. Um, so our main goals are to promote the discipline of history and provide a space for other history enthusiasts to discuss and share their passion for history. And as I said again, as high school seniors and proud representatives, and us, the officers of History Club, 
We are trying to grow our history called the future generations. That way they can enjoy the Kong and we are trying to preserve something that will outlast them. Um, our main presentation is just, we are here, we exist, and we would love to have more involvement within the community and within this uh, historical society. Does anyone have any questions? I know I'm saying um a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could speak for the board members. We'd love to have us be able to work together with you any way we can. Mm -hmm. We'd love to have something about. Yes, that's what I was mainly thinking of in the main presentation about this. Sorry, it's not like 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> it's really, it's really just. We need to do more. Yeah, um, yeah we definitely do. You know, so more things about like you guys were mentioning fundraisers. We could help organize that. Student power is really mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. We can invite our family members to come to these meetings and really spread the message to the entire community because whether or not we like it, a lot of the community has children in school and we're able to communicate with the community better. Um, Would you all be interested in like helping us man a booth? Whenever we have our uh, yes um, Greenville days. days and things like that, that'd be awesome. Yes, think, things yeah. like that. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be and awesome. other projects like and fun. things like that. Anything that would help you guys, and other things that would just help us get more into the community mm -hmm. and just overall promote history, because that's yeah. really what all of our passions are, and we don't really see that. Even within our own club, we do have very limited participation. And I really want to see that uptick, especially if we do more events. How many members do you have? In <laughs> Active members? Mm -hmm. About a good 35, 10. 40. Yeah. But we do have... Mm -hmm. Paid. Yeah. About 35, 40 we could pull from if we needed it. Yes. But about 10, paid. 15 to show to the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we do have a, a student membership. Mm -hmm. Very cheap. Yeah, Yes, yeah, we, will. we will. Yes. Well, and we could also use the younger people's ideas for things to help us mm -hmm. uh, give us some feedback on promotions and things like that. Because we do, we're nonprofit, so like he said, we live off of donations and uh, fundraisers. That's what keeps us going. So that would be great if we could get the the young people involved because us old folks are. Yeah. We've got to have somebody to replace us as we go. Yeah. 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 Okay, yes. That's like one of our main goals. She's old. <laughs> 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 yeah. So that's basically what our presentation is about is we're just a young, growing history club, and we would love to volunteer. We would love to be more involved within our community, especially with this, because this is really cool. Well, do you guys do a regional presentation once a year then? As far as a, a competition of some sort, or yes, it's called yeah. National we History tried. Day, right? Um, and it's it's all <laughs> national. And usually, if anyone's from Greenville, most of the time, the entire history class will do it. Um, so that, but Clearwater is a bit different. That we had the club to do it. And that's mainly what our club is. That's how we all got involved. Like we've been, me and him have been involved with the project together. Me and me and him have been involved with the project together, multiple and it's times. multiple times. <laughs> multiple yes. times on that one. Um, so that's presentations like a three board like display. You can write a paper. You can have a documentary. You can have a play. It's really good to practice your research skills. I run into people all the time, and I ask them, "Have you been to our museum? What museum?" Yeah, where is, yeah. yeah. Where is right. it? Right. I was saying, I thought that maybe we could. Now, like that, we know us as a club know more about this place. Maybe we can do like one of our field trips here, yeah. or yeah, even inspire our mm -hmm. history teachers to take field trips here with the regular classes mm -hmm. that they yeah. have. I think yeah. it'd be great to have a, a club day to bring them all down. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Missouri, oh. either most schools or Missouri State test, so we have to know the <coughs> people on boards and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. yeah, local history. Yeah. That's we do have to know that. Could, could y'all as a, I'm not a member, but could, could, would the history club and the, and the historical society maybe have, have the history club 
put up an, a, an exhibit here. They could pick somebody in Wayne County or some event in Wayne County, and they could sit. They could sit it here, and it would be, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. their exhibit, and mm -hmm. that would be something yeah. to draw people in. Yeah. Just an idea. Mm -hmm. We want anything that will draw people in the door. Yeah. We want people to see what is theirs. This is Wayne County's, mm -hmm. and uh, so we, you know, we want people to come in and enjoy what we have as much as we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then they could use their social media influence to direct right. people here. Yes, I was. Yeah. I will say that. Mm -hmm. um, I. I am very interested in our local history, okay. and that's mainly because my uncle. Yeah. You know, We've got a ago. lot of interesting stories to go with a lot of the stuff mm -hmm. here. We've heard the yeah. old. Mm -hmm. The old timers tell us have told us these stories, and we've mm -hmm. got some very interesting. Yes, stories. and I, I do remember uh, stories from my grandparents and things like that. Mm -hmm. But also, like I remember having those books at my grandparents' house and flipping through them and like actually reading through them and looking on all the redistricting lines. Like, I just think that this stuff's really cool, and I do want the younger generation to be a part of it. Right. Well, you know, if any, anything that's going to grow has to have seed, and your seed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, we would, I'm sure we would want to have youth, you know, young people coming in, being involved in it, and you'll grow in it, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll always stick with you, and you can help make it grow. Okay. Does anyone else have any comments, questions, or concerns about what we do? <clears throat> If we have a meeting, like we was, we've had meetings before about doing fundraisers and stuff. If we was to have a meeting about a fundraiser, would one of you or a couple of you want to come and give us your opinion on stuff? Oh, of course, of course, that would be great. That would be wonderful. That's all about it. That's it. We could even advertise in school, put flyers up and stuff. Yes, yes. and it, like let's say you guys did a raffle, we could help sell raffle tickets. Oh, yeah, we raffle. could. <laughs> yes, and there's flyers available. Yeah, yeah. 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 they <laughs> I don't really have any. student grade, by the way? Do you know that? Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. And if they don't have five, I'm home tonight. That's right. That goes way in the air. Well, any other questions for him? Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One idea I passed down around the historical society several years ago, um, they, they mentioned National History Day Fair. And I participate in that. Uh, Miss Banger back there will know about it. Uh, she was heavily involved in it as a librarian. Greenville was all about National History Day. We had, uh, and Mr. Hicks is here. Do you still participate in it? Since April Wilder left, it's really slacked off. Um, it's not required anymore. As well, that's what I'm coming to. That was a major part of one quarter of our grade. Yeah, with Mitch and... Mitch Froman and um, Catherine Golden in sixth grade. It started in sixth grade. Now, I'm going to tell you, the National History Day is one of the reasons I'm here tonight. Catherine Golden instilled it into us. And then it went sixth grade to seventh grade with Mitch Froman. High school, it wasn't required, but uh, they encouraged it. And we had, Greenville had some uh, uh, kids that went all the way to uh, Washington, D.C. and won. Yeah. So, uh, but while uh, Greenville was doing history fair, Clearwater always was focused on the science fair. Mm -hmm. And Greenville never did a science fair, to my knowledge. Oh, yes, they did. Not, not, not before 98. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. When I was over there, we, did, we didn't do a science fair. But my idea, I presented to the board, and it didn't get too far uh, years ago. I would love to see, and the historical society could sponsor it. Greenville, Clearwater, maybe the uh, Hick, uh, Hick, Victory Baptist, the church there at Silva, and they have a school, have a, uh, a local history fair. Yeah, with, we need it. You know, with... Uh, 
projects uh, that kids would uh, research and do on uh, local history. Right. And uh, I know in February of a school year, it's too late for this year, but it's something we can think about for the future. Yeah. And uh, well, uh, we appreciate you young people coming out and uh, I know it's hard for young people to get up and talk. It was for me anyway, uh, but you'll outgrow it and it'll come natural to you as the years go by. Any other thing we need to talk about? Mention. Am I forgetting anything, Rita? I don't think so. Uh, before you kids leave, you need to see Ron Hanson. He's got a token for you for speaking tonight. Uh, it's got, we're giving you a Wayne County coin. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a coin we developed at the Bicentennial. And we still got some extra, so... Uh, if you're not here, if you're not a member here tonight and you want to become one, Ron's the fellow you need to talk to. Uh, $20 annually, $100 lifetime. Students, it's $5 annually. So that's uh, something that uh, you can look into. I'm looking at my notes. I think I covered everything. Uh, we've got refreshments, and we want you to stay and socialize as long as you'd like. Or until Ron tells us to go home. <laughs> he's been in St. Louis today, and he's probably a little tired. But uh, we'll stay here a little a little while tonight. If you would, stand your feet. And uh, I'm going to ask Russ more if you'd ask the blessing on the refreshment. Thank you. Dear Lord, we just like to thank you for this place and for the people that are here, the ones that showed up. And, Lord, we just want to thank you for the, for the food we're about to eat, for the nourishment of our body. And we do all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.